our start. That's our home page. So when you hit home, it goes back to the start. That way, we can go to anything else that we want to do. So we already did our standard. We talked about how what we're learning today is telling time to the quarter hour. We watched our video. What's going to come next? We did the graphing. Graphing. So can you come over and hit graphing for me, please? And that'll take us to the graphing. I didn't actually. Let's do that. Let me go back home. See, I have the home button here too, so I can go back if I make a mistake. And let's really quickly, I know I already talked about the standard, but I wanted to show you, I forgot, I had this really cool picture that I wanted to show you. This is a famous painting by a man named Salvador Dali. He was a very famous painter, and he used to make what's called surrealistic paintings. Paintings that are not even realistic, they're like fantasy paintings. And look at this painting, he did clocks, but it looks like they're melting, don't they? And then he has this weird, like, there's an eyelash or an eye, and a nose, and it's like side of someone's face. Two cycles and half hours. It says two cycles because the day is made up of 24 hours. Okay, there are 24 hours in the day, but the clock only has 12 hours on it. Right? The clock only has 12 hours on it. So how do we figure out that there's 24 hours in a day? The clock has to go around how many times? 120 times. That would be a lot. You're right. That would be 240 hours. No, it's 24 hours in a day. And there's 12 hours here. So if it starts to go all the way around once. Two times. It's been 12 hours, Nico, thank you. By the time it goes around twice, it's been 24. Because 12 and 12 is 24. So by the time it cycles around twice, all the way around the clock, it's been one full day or 24 hours. That's why there's an a.m., a morning time, and a p.m., an evening time. A.m. and p.m. One down. See how it puts a little blue perimeter around there? One down, down here. There you go. Now let it go. Boom. Done. So now, Michael, you are going to use your sentence. Can you say your sentence? I wake up at 6 30. I did too. Go ahead. So now, what do you say? I wake up at 6 o'clock. Excellent job. Okay, so now we go over here. We've done our standards. We've done our video. We've done our graphing. What's next? Guided practice. Guided practice. Go ahead and have a seat. Let somebody else do it. Pick somebody, Bryce. Come on up. Pick guided practice. Okay, cool. You moved it. That's okay. Click on it. Click it. So now, I have a little bit to teach you guys. And this is stuff that you probably already know. But I'm going to go over it. First, I'm going to be talking about telling time with the hour hand. Yeah. And I don't think, well, yeah, so you guys can reach this. Uh, so he's going to erase what our note says there. There's a little bit above it, too, so you got to go a little bit. Yeah. Now you guys repeat it with me. Let's say it all together. The the clock is broken into hours and minutes. In here, like in the middle, and then it'll spin around. Wait till it stops. Okay, now you hit it. There you go. And it's gonna spin around and it will randomly go oh. somewhere. It fell here. Go ahead and say it. Good, turn around, it's gonna say it nice and loud, Michaela. Now everybody say it. Okay, go ahead and pick somebody, please.